What's up guys, this is Adam with TAT Express. And in today's video, I'm gonna share some information on some failures that we see across all platforms. And I'm also gonna share some information on what you can do to prevent this from happening to you. Guys, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you'd like to share your experience with your truck, leave it in the comments below. Let's get right into this video. So this truck came in with coolant going into his oil. This is a very common problem that we see across all platforms. I wanna share with you what you can do to try to keep this from happening to you. And I also wanna share what we saw on the components during the teardown. Now guys, this is a very common problem as I mentioned. And what I would suggest you do is run an oil analysis when you're doing your oil changes. This is pulling oil when you're doing your oil changes to make sure you don't have any kind of contaminants in your oil. You don't wanna have any fuel, coolant, or metals in your oil. You wanna catch this before any major problems happen. Guys, let's move over here to the table and I wanna share with you what we found during the teardown. Okay, so we have the old components here and during our inspection, uh, of course, as I mentioned, a failed liner O-ring is what this happened on this particular engine. We see this often and we also see carbon buildup on the pistons. But what I wanna talk about first is these liner O-rings. Now, what happens, this is a wet liner if you don't know and coolant surrounds this liner and this O-ring is, is what seals it in, inside the block and keeps the coolant from dropping into the oil. You can see on these O-rings, this is a section completely missing. I'll give you some closer, closer, closer views. But what you could do to keep this or prevent this from happening is uh, replacing your coolant often every 200K at least, doing a coolant flush, keeping your, your levels uh, are correct on your coolant. And you could do that by, by ordering some coolant test strips. And you can do that online and make sure when you do test your coolant that you do it when the coolant is at uh, not, not hot. You don't want to open up that cap when it's hot because it has pressure. Keeping your coolant levels correct and changing it often or doing it every 200K or at least every 200K will keep your coolant levels fine and will keep this corrosion from happening or at least slow it down. As you can see, the liners are, are in good condition on the outside, but these liner O-rings is what actually fell. Now moving over to the pistons, this is something that we see often. This is what happens if you're doing too much idling or if you have some overfueling happening or an injector failure. You'll have some buildup that happens atop, on, the top of the, on top of the piston dome. Now this is carbon buildup that happens and it gets really hard and over time it can break loose and scratch the inside of the liners. This particular liner has a design, it's called an anti-polishing uh, design is what they call it, but we see other platforms adopting this design as well. What this design is, is, is meant to do or designed to do is prevent this carbon that's building up around this piston from actually damaging the liners and call, causing polishing. Now that's scraping up the liners. One liner did have some polishing on, it, on, on the actual cylinder, but we did see on these particular pistons that they have some excessive buildup of carbon around the top of these domes. And if you can see the difference in, in these particular, the top of the, the, the piston domes, you can see the difference in the firing patterns. So replacing injectors is, is also recommended when doing an overhaul like this. What you can do to avoid this type of damage from happening is of course, avoid idling. I know that's very challenging to do sometimes, but this is what happens when fuel is not getting burnt. It's basically getting collected on top and it creating this hard carbon and over time can break loose and scratch up your liners and cause some damage. Another, another thing that can cause this is a bad injector, uh, valves out of adjustment. Basically keeping up with your maintenance is very important. Jumping in these trucks and just driving them as long as you can drive them until they can give you problems is not a good game plan. And I'm not saying that's how, this what, is that what happened with this, but just keeping a plan in place is gonna help you uh, from keeping this from happening guys. So this is the information that I wanted to share with you on what we found with these particular components. And as I mentioned, this is what we see across all platforms. They're all going to high pressure fuel systems. They're all uh, incorporating this sleeve so that, that the, the pistons can be uh, put closer together and, and, and the engine is becoming more lighter, high, high, higher compression. This is all similar designs that they're all going, going after. So, but keep in mind, this is what we recommend for maintenance and coolant. So 
keep that from happening. So guys, I hope this information was helpful for you. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And if you'd like to share your experience, leave it in the comments below. TAT Express is now servicing at our new location, 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas, 75241. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. TAT Express is also hiring. If you are interested, you can apply online at our careers page or send us your resume at info at TATExpressing.com. Guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, be safe.